wanted to make a quick video to discuss the difference between Git and GitHub.com. So uh, what Git is, as you can see here, is a version control system. Git allows you to do a lot of different things. There's a lot of uh, features built on top of Git. So you're going to want to install it to have access to these features. But one of the first things that it allows you to do is to create save points within your software. And I like thinking of save points. I've also heard it described as like snapshots of your software. And so you could roll forwards or roll backwards. Maybe, maybe you uh, introduce a bug into your uh, source code and you don't want that bug in there. So one thing you could do is roll back into a prior version of your software. And what it reminds me of is creating save points. And so again, you can call these save points, you can call these snapshots. You create uh, save points in, in video games like Zelda and many games have these different save points where you can choose a point in time to start working from or to start playing the game. And so Git allows you to create save points within your source code or within your software to roll forward or roll back. By the way, these save points are called commits and we'll go through all these different commands from from that uh, Git allows you to to run command line commands or commands from within a graphical interface, a GUI. Uh, another thing that Git allows you to do is to push your source code to a file storage location. So that's what GitHub.com is. GitHub.com is a website to store your code on. Think of it very similar to Dropbox or Google Drive. This is just where you're storing your source code so that if your hard drive on your computer were to die or uh, you know, were you to accidentally format or get rid of all the data, uh, you don't lose you know, the actual source code itself. And so Git itself allows you to both create save points and it allows you to push your code from your computer onto github.com. Now you're gonna wanna create a, a github.com account and then from there you start creating repositories. Repository is just a fancy name for folder. Inside of these repositories or inside of these folders are where you will push your source code too and so I'm gonna go through command line commands to do these to commits and to do these pushes and pulls and all these uh, fundamentals that are Git. I'm gonna be make it a part of a basics series, GitHub basics. And so you know Git allows you to do a lot of things of which are create save points. It allows you to put your code onto a uh, a repository on like a github.com. There's also by the way uh, Bitbucket is another place that you could choose to store your source code. So a competitor of github.com would be bitbucket.org. It's by this company Atlassian. You might have heard of them. And so that's just another place you could put your source code with Git onto Bitbucket. And in fact, that's one of the first places um, that I did. So those features right there, the ability to create save points, and the ability to push and store your code on a on a repository on like a GitHub, you know, uh, those are your basic features that you know you can get by with that if you're not working on a team if you're just a solo developer. Um, however, if you're working in corporate America, uh, you're probably going to need to learn to work on a team, and that is the third feature that I would introduce is the ability to work on a team and create what are called branches. And so when you have branches, these are like different versions uh, of your source code. And um, you know you could have one team working on the login feature and another team working on um, adding in a searching feature. And you could work on different branches so they don't have to work together until you merge those branches together. And when you create these merges, you're gonna have conflicts and you have to learn how to work through these conflicts. But those are the, the big three features that, that we will learn as we're going through Git, creating save points, pushing your, your code onto you know, github.com and ultimately branching. 
and you can learn those in phases. I, I want to iterate that you don't have to learn Git branching right away. Um, here at Rankin, uh, most of our students, uh, it's not until the second year when we start working on bigger projects where you might start working on teams and actually start creating branches and merging those branches. Um, so those are the basics of Git. And uh, we'll actually go through uh, in the rest of this series and actually um, work through the commands, create some repositories, push and pull, and create some branches.